Hi and welcome to my fifth tutorial on HTML. Last time we covered creating unordered lists and changing the style of the bullets. In this tutorial we will cover how to create ordered lists and how to change the numbering system. So let's start. Last time we used the UL tag for unordered lists. This time we will use the OL tag which stands for ordered lists. And just like the UL tag, this one also needs an end tag. The LI tag for our list entries is the same. We are going to make a short list with uh, five, six entries. Last time I made a list of programs I needed for a future tutorial. This time I'll do something similar. And uh, it will be things I need for war driving. Now, first we need a heading, and we'll continue with our H2 heading. War driving equipment, and then we have to end our heading like this. Now we have to start our ordered list. like this and now the entries where we use the li tag for list entries and the li tag does not have an end tag we need a um, laptop and we need the um, backtrack we need a um, GPS and we need um, an external antenna and we need the wireless network card and uh, power adapter cord. Now we have to end our ordered list like this and uh, save it and see what pops up here with F5. Our ordered list works even though it actually shouldn't because we forgot one thing here we have our end tag but we forgot the last angle bracket like this now let's put in the unordered list we used last time save it and F5 Now, these two lists are identical in behavior, except that our ordered list uses numbers and our unordered list uses bullets. And we could change the bullets and we could also change the type of numbers that we give our ordered list. And let's look at that. Now, the default numbering scheme in uh, ordered lists are Arabic numerals. And we could just as well change this to uh, Roman numerals. And in our OL tag, we'll go in and uh, put an attribute type equals I like that
and we get Roman numerals, capital that is. And tags and attributes are in HTML, usually in uh, lowercase. Actually, that's the rule, but some uh, books will have it in um, capital letters. Now, this is an exception. We have a capital I here. We could just as well put in a small i, and this will give us Roman numerals in lowercase, like this. If we just wanted regular letters, we can put in a uh, A. And if we want these in capital, we make a large A, like this. And when we put in um, attribute now for the OL tag, all our list entries will uh, inherit that. And if we want to go back to Arabic numerals, that's a one, like that. So remember, one is uh, for Arabic numerals, I for Roman numerals, and A for your everyday letters. And I and A are case sensitive, depending upon if you want uppercase or lowercase numbering. Even though our uh, list entries inherit our OL tag, we can make individual changes here. For example, if we wanted a capital letter for GPS, we can do that. Type equals capital A file save and the 3 here on GPS will be replaced by a C which is the third letter in the alphabet. Now there is one more attribute to our OL tag. Now our list starts at 1, but let's say we want it to start at 5. So we would write start equals 5 like that and we'll take away this now it starts at 5 and our list tag our li tag also has uh, one more attribute now let's say we want something in between backtrack and GPS. We just don't know what yet, or we haven't decided on uh, putting it in. So we can have li value equals 13, with quotation marks of course, file, save, 5, 6, which we decided earlier, and then it automatically goes to 13, 14, and so on. That should cover ordered lists. One last thing is, of course, when using letters for numbers, when you have reached Z, or whatever is your last letter in the alphabet, it starts automatically again with AA, AB, etc. Next tutorial, we will cover definition lists.